Three, your plan Four, preparation. That's a long word. Has to be greater. I want you to just think about this. Has to be greater than what? It has to outweigh the unexpected event. Your plan for preparation has to be greater, and I leave it there. I'm gonna give you the end of it, but I just want you to think about that for a second. Your plan for preparation has to be out greater, has to be outweigh or be greater than your unexpected event. And I wanna leave it there with you because I want you to hear just this. Your plan for preparation has to be greater than anything that's gonna come at you in life. God wants you to prepare for what? The kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is preparing a room for you. I went ahead of you to prepare a place for you. You need to prepare as if Christ is coming to return to bring you to that place. And everything that you do is preparation. Reading scripture, devotions, talking with people, praying. What is that? It's preparation for the kingdom of God so that when you're called upon or an unexpected event happens, you can say, no, I have a foundation of Christ that is unshakable because I've been preparing all my life for something like this. How did you get through that? Because I was preparing all my life because Christ is my life. This event wasn't. It hurt really bad. I'm still dealing with it, but my life is in Christ. And I know the plans and promises. That plan is greater than anything that happens in this life. That's what needs to go on.